Today is an honest review of this Portland electric pole saw. 1.5 horsepower. I didn't get compensated in any way to do this. I bought this with my own money. No one's paying me to do this review. Interested? Here we go. I had a lot of success with their electric chainsaw. I'll post up there where you can see that review. So I figured I'd give the pole saw a shot. You don't want to take something like this, even if it's electric, up on a ladder, up in a tree. There's just too many chances for danger. The pole saw, on the other hand, you can get this blade up here, extend it, and take care of business on limbs in upper parts of trees and bushes. So let's open it up and see what we got. I got this on Harbor Freight on sale. I'll post somewhere up here exactly how much it is, but I remember it was around somewhere between 60, 69 dollars, something like that. Well, first of all, you got a big box. This thing extends out eight to 10 feet. Box off to the side. Okay, here you go. You got some basic instructions. It's an Oregon blade and like the chainsaw, it has a cover to it. Frame for the blade. Here's the chain. It's an Oregon chain, which is fairly respectable. More stuff off to the side. All right, so we have the pole saw here, it says, caution, ensure sufficient chain oil before each use. Unlike the chainsaw, this one didn't come with any oil, and I don't think there's any oil in it. On chainsaws and things that <laughs> can cut off arms, limbs, fingers, toes, I usually read the instructions. Okay, so here's the cable lock trigger, the extension cord. This is the safety lockout. Yep. Now... The chainsaw is for right-handed people. This one looks like it could be alternated between left hand and right hand. And you've got a little comfort grip here. So that's good because when you got something up above, you'd prefer to have it so that you could switch hands off because, you know, just give yourself a break. There is a little rubberized grip on this end. The safety lockout is on the left side. Assembly on this is pretty simple. Blade guard and a little symbol, and the chain has these silver guides so you know how to line up the chain. Now the instructions say that in order to get the most wear out of this, that you turn it over after a certain period of time or if you see too much wear here. Now the first thing I noticed when I put the chain on, the tensioning guide is way up here, so you're gonna have to back that down almost to the other end. I'm just showing you how I put this together. This is not the ultimate guide. You really need to read the instructions to give you some general ideas. And don't follow this video on the installation and just think you're 100%. Back it up with the instructions, always. You can see that I've got the tensioning guide slightly back from the main hole. I'm gonna put it on, uh, it's way too floppy. So you're gonna use the tensioning guide Get that screw in there, and you're going to start pushing that guy this way to bring up the tension to make sure this is seated. All right, I can feel the tension coming on now. All right, that's a little too much. Well, maybe not. Oh, wow. So that's interesting. So I thought it was too much, but I just hadn't moved it yet. Yeah, that screw's loose. You don't want that to happen. Yeah, okay, that's a little better. And so, for me, in this installation, the adjustment screw is kind of in alignment slightly. There you go, as a reference to where you should start with the adjustment screw. And you want about that much give, according to the instructions. Now you put the pole saw cover on. There's a little slot for this plastic piece. Make sure you get that right. Push it down. Get in there nice and flush. Now that might be a little too tight. We'll have to take it outside and play around with it a little bit. So make sure you keep this little tool in your pocket so you can make adjustments. 
Now we'll put some oil in there and see how it does. It doesn't matter what bar chain oil you use as long as it's approved and you're gonna wanna fill that up and keep an eye on that. Ooh, what a mess. Doesn't seem to take much at all. So it locks out pretty easy. It's on a bungee, it appears. It comes back fairly easy. So you can get whatever length you want, elliptical cross section. So let's talk a little bit about safety. You should wear a helmet. I don't have one on, but you should. Hearing protection, eye protection, and leather gloves, always. If you're not gonna wear a helmet, you gotta stay clear of those branches. And you do it at your own risk, kind of like I'm doing right now. So here's the situation that we're working with. I could cut this off with a chainsaw, but you can see that it's kind of bowing up. Getting the root ball out is a major problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off all these limbs up to the top, and then I'm gonna put a line on there and pull it down. And hopefully release a good bit of this tree ball so that I can get it out with minimal effort as opposed to grinding it. Just all sorts of crazy things that you'd have to do to get this stump out with the ball. So that's what we're gonna do next. In a matter of minutes, I've gone 15 feet up that tree, maybe a little more, because I can reach up to about six, seven feet, plus a 10 foot, so 17 feet up this tree in minutes. Very impressive. So what do I think of this pole saw? Wow, absolutely amazing. It hasn't loosened up at all. It's gone through maybe a quarter of the oil, and I've taken down about 20, 30 branches. And the branches are fairly big, about this big, three inches maybe. It can easily handle probably out to five inches. It's very well balanced, reliable. It's just awesome. I would strongly recommend this. I don't recommend a lot of things as strongly as this, but this is just a great product. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciated. What do you think? Do you have one of these? How's it work for you? If you like home repairs, deconstruction of trees, gardening, designs of all kinds, making and breaking things, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're gonna see.